Episode 52C Luster Share Canal Side Site on Banks of Grand Union in Loughborough Up for Sale, Leicester Share Live. Leicester Mercury. Handsome great two listed country house for sale, full list of smoke control areas for houses with wood burning stoves, former village pub. Johnny Irwin fans say they can't live without wood burning stove as Star Gifts Home Update. Leicester Mercury. In his latest update standing in front of a newly installed wood burner Johnny said, I've met a few local heroes doing up our house and Colin and London. Cost of living crisis is turning London back into the big smoke, new statesman. New statesman. In the face of an energy price squeeze, wood burners look like an economical option, but the toxic pollution they emit is reversing decades of Wood burner sales hit 200,000 in 2022. Annual UK sales of wood. Burning stoves, total units sold. Fact checker, have wood burning stoves been banned in London? ENDS report. ENDS report. It was recently reported that the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, had set air quality limits for new developments, which mean that wood burning stoves. Nottinghamshire. Trading standards carries out checks to ensure ready-to-burn fuel that's on sale in Knotts is. Nottinghamshire County Council. Nottinghamshire trading standards is also reminding residents of the law when using a wood-burning stove or an open fire. Smoke from burning causes. Nottinghamshire trading standards inspectors making sure burn fuel for sale is suitable for Chad. Chad. With household budgets being squeezed due to the rising costs of living, the demand for wood-burning stoves has surged as more residents turn to. UK City's air so polluted it's like smoking 189 cigarettes a year, see your area, the mirror. The mirror. One city in the UK has such bad air pollution that it is equivalent to residents in Northampton smoking 189 cigarettes a year, according to one. Ireland. Dublin's air quality found to be generally good, the Irish News. Irish News. The project determined levels of six pollutants such as particulate matter, PM2.5, nitric oxide, NO, nitrogen dioxide, NO2, carbon monoxide. EPA air quality report sees the same towns popping up again for breaches. News talk. News talk. This is due, mostly likely, to the continued burning of fossil fuels in residential heating, coal, peat, and wood. A high number of air pollution incidents were recorded in several Irish towns last year, a new Environmental Protection Agency report has found. Ennis & Co. Clare saw 31 breaches up to December 31st, while Tralee & Co. Kerry had 14. Other monitoring stations where there were a relatively high number of daily readings included Edenderry, Co. Offaly, 10, Longford Town, 9, and Macroom, Co. Cork, 7. Dublin also had a combined figure, across several monitoring stations, of 39. The daily limit for for particulate matter, PM10 is 50 UG slash M3. The limit is considered breached if there are more than 35 exceedance during the year. Saab O'Neill is a researcher in climate policy. She told News Talk Breakfast these are risks to people's health. This is due, mostly likely, to the continued burning of fossil fuels in residential heating, coal, peat, and wood. To a certain extent nitrogen dioxide from traffic can contribute as well. The seriousness of this is that air pollution at these levels can increase the risk of stroke, heart disease, and respiratory disease such as asthma. We know that up to 1,300 premature deaths are related to poor air quality in Ireland. Regulations not being implemented. Ms. O'Neill said regulations are not being enforced. It's very concerning that the same towns are popping up again and again as having poor air quality, she said. I think the regulations passed by the government in October of last year are not being vigorously implemented and enforced, perhaps, by local authorities. 
It's only by ensuring that we don't allow the burying and the sale of smoky fuels that we can actually improve air quality in those places. Geographical factors. Ms. O'Neill said this could be down to geographical reasons. Certainly we know that in some counties there's still a strong attachment to burning peat. That might be the case in the Midlands, she said. Increasingly we're seeing people burning wood, which may be damp, and therefore contributing to particulate matter in wood-burning stoves under the illusion, I think, that these are a clean fuel. In fact, wood is very much part of the problem. It's only if you have very dry timber and secondary combustion in your stove that you can be assured of not releasing pollution into the atmosphere. She explained that tiny particles of dust which we cannot see are absorbed into the, the body, and this can be serious for certain vulnerable cohorts. It may be that the problem is confined to certain towns for various geographical reasons, she said. I think we need urgent action on this, because we can't just allow these regulations to be unenforced and unimplemented, she added. Improvements next winter. Environment Minister Eamon Ryan said things should be different by next year. A lot of those will start to be weaned off old stocks, some people burning turf that's coming to an end, he said. The new law is in place where those smoky fuels are not permitted. The key thing now is for local authorities to enforce the law. We'll see that air quality improve, slowly but surely, as that enforcement kicks in. We always recognized it would take some months, probably one winter season, to use up any old stocks. We will see improvements next winter, those sort of figures we don't expect to see again. He said local authorities have to up their game, being really rigorous in enforcing the law. Listen back to the full interview here. Main image, split screen image shows an aerial view of Ennis in Co Claire and pollution coming from a chimney. European Union. Georgia or Ossetia or Azerbaijan, disputed land, occupied by wood-burning Azerbaijanis. Nagorno-Karabakh enters third month of blockade OC Media. OC Media. Stepanakert is completely covered in smoke. They are cutting wood with chainsaws in the courtyards of buildings, burning wood for heating and... Nagorno-Karabakh enters third month of blockade 13, February 2023. A group of men sit around a fire near the police checkpoint outside Stepanakert. Reports of energy shortages are continuing to grow in Nagorno-Karabakh as the region enters its third month under blockade. The blockade started in December when a group of Azerbaijanis claiming to be eco-activists blocked the Lakin Corridor purportedly to protest illegal mining in Nagorno-Karabakh. The corridor is the only passage in and out of Nagorno-Karabakh for its 120,000 inhabitants. Read more, Nagorno-Karabakh introduces rationing and blackouts as blockade continues. The city looks like a village. Since the blockade started, Nagorno-Karabakh's gas supply from Armenia has been cut off seven times. Both Yerevan and Stepanakert have accused Azerbaijan of cutting the region off, as all gas pipes pass through Azerbaijan-controlled territories. There is almost no traffic in the city. The city looks like a village, silence and smoke from stoves, Merat Van Yen told OC Media. Said people had involuntarily adapted to the new reality by relying on wood stoves for heating. Stepanakert is completely covered in smoke. They are cutting wood with chainsaws in the courtyards of buildings, burning wood for heating and cooking. It is also expensive for ordinary people, but there is no alternative. Due to energy shortages, educational institutions have partly closed, while some have adjusted to use wood stoves for heating. The region has also been forced to introduce rolling blackouts, with hour-long power cut six times a day. For ease of reading, we choose not to use qualifiers such as de facto, unrecognized, or partially recognized when discussing institutions or political positions within Abkhazia, Nagorno-Karabakh, and South Ossetia. This does not imply a position on their status.